him just with that level one meld when he comes forward, and you have nothing early on that's going to deal with the refraction charges. So, I. Okay. I'm there we go. I think so. There's the two, and yeah. already the chaos bolt's going to be chucked out on Natsumi, and we will have our first blade down bottom as Mizu will not be able to survive through a double crit back. Phil, there's really not too much Alacrity can do against this. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> right, maybe. Davis taking a mass amount of damage being under the tower with a fade bolt enough to blow him up. So Yokam already got level three of the Atrophy Aura onto the uh, the Underlord. He's prioritizing just living as opposed to going for any kind of last hits, and it's working out for him. Right, he's top of the net worth right now. So you just want to make sure you've got all of those defensive top tools maxed never out. Never mind, might be in trouble here. Oh, he's not going to go for the Rolling Thunder, actually. Okay, I, I Alacrity TP in. I thought he was going to go for the Rolling Thunder from the Trower, but instead, we'll just let the, the Batrider escape. Be around that Wraith Pact and BKB timings. Well, Alacrity's going to be in trouble. Nice play. They saw the Swashbuckle, so they know this is on cooldown, so it's going to be pinned inside the river from a lot of time, but Alacrity has an opportunity to turn it around now. Rolling Thunder feels like he has an angle into the middle instead. Gonna go for the tiny, but that's where Lelouch can come into play, offering the protection. Decrypt's actually gonna stop the damage for Lelouch for the moment, but once it expires, they can charge back into the middle. That's a Templar Assassin just raining down too much damage for NGXC to handle. Although you can, maybe not. He can step back to the safety of the T1 tower. In your dreams, gonna think about TPing in. And now they've got the big counter into the Templar Assassin, soaking away his damage. So there's nothing Lelouch can do. Never mind. Thinking about an angle to join, but that will not be the case as Alacrity gets the double. Lelouch still wants to enter. Hold on a second. Refraction's now burned off thanks to the swashbuckling in your dream. Gets the burst. The max out plasma filled enough to get the kill. And now Alacrity might even find. Never mind. The ward in between the tier 1 and tier 2. Alacrity just off the mark. Went for the snipe. Wasn't able to catch up the bat. Long ass TP back. Should be killed off. Telekinesis back into Razor's location. So, in your dream, we have plenty of time to be able to zap away the damage. Yokem has his level 6 now. I mean, Mizu, he's in a little bit of trouble here. They've got the lasso in 5. Oh, they might not even need it. Although, Yokem TPing down. Avalanche going to slow down the siege on the Mizu. Yeah, they will be forced to drop the lasso and it doesn't get stolen. Very close there, but never. Acting away an enemy core as a support. Like, you drop down the nether ward and you move away, job done. Xavius, step into the triangle. Instant use of the rolling thunder from Alacrity though, but they don't have really anyone else Ooh. to join them. It's a soul oh, no. bone. We'll leash both together. They're inside the meat grinder. Now they get the double lasso as well. As that is beautiful from Polaris as Lelouch jumps over to the low ground, secures the kill. And it's actually Xavius that gets the bounty for both. So this is going to be a very quick blink timing. We're not done just yet, though. In your dream and your cam wants some revenge, and they will get just that. As never mind. Steps over towards the secret shop, but the rest of Polaris, they're trying to wrap on over, blocking the escape avenue. The Fiend's Gate's going to be dropped, but it will not matter. He's come in. Mizu. He actually goes in. He doesn't give them any way to retreat. He's now going to stand his ground and man fighting inside to fire some Lelouch. Has to respect the damage, and he'll do just that. Gets away from the neighborhood. Oh, the three oh, seconds stun at the last second before he's able to fiend skate out. And now Mizu is stuck inside the river. Lelouch still will be killed off thanks to the blasts, but it looks like Polaris, with a numbers advantage, can swarm to Mizu's location. Alacrity back with a respawn. He might be able to get the Grim Shriek that was chucked into the river. A sacrifice. But a beautiful sacrifice at that as the blood is splattered. In the first of those two engagements, it just meant Bottom more lane, than Never it. mind. He's going to be in trouble. That cliff ward that I was mentioning. He's going to be able to catch out the Batrider. Entering a little bit too far out. Really nice for the core mid lane. Temple Assassins just gets the blink away. Alacrity's actually going to follow. Fiends get to the back line. Lelouch is going to need some assistance. Maybe with the Ink Spawn, it's well moving speed. Off to the side, though, Natsumi pops a very early BKB. He hasn't been able to secure with a kill, but that's where the Phantasm can come into play. But Alacrity's still in the back line. Oh, Alacrity lasso to chain control. He won't be able to swashbuckle out. And now the rest of NGXC, they're going to get out. It's never mind looking to jump. Xavius is oh, going to follow Xavius. soon as well. The triple avalanche tossed back. 
They get another support taken care of, and in the end, a three for one. And that could have been Alacrity's rotated down, dropping the Rolling Thunder, just try and slow down the siege. I mean, he has done so, but it's at the expense of his ultimate, which I, I don't know how worth it it is. It doesn't feel like Polaris are getting much at all out of this past couple of minutes, though. They've lost a tower. They've got Lelouch sitting here mid-solo. Natsumi. Oh, never mind, not Early solo. Early use of the BKB. He's going to try and turn to deal with the Underlord as well. Now with the lasso out, they're chucking everything to kill off Mizu. And that will be enough to secure the Underlord kill. Alacrity might be able to find the Batrider. He's going to commit into the river with the shield crash back up. Beautiful spell casting from the Pango. But he's going to be cautious. The wraparound is coming. Polaris with Save the backside. Oh, oh, he's, he's ready. Get... He wants is the here. triple. <gasps> Don't goof Oh, they pegged him. Okay. He just got a little bit too antsy. He took one step down the stairs, and with that extra vision coming through from the tier two tower revealed, okay. In Your Dreams got the AC coming out to him now. It's just a question of can they stall long enough? I don't know. Maybe Mizu can. They're going to reel the trap. Yo, can they jump? A lot of damage on Natsumi early, so it's going to force the BKB turning for Mizu, but it's, it's not going to be drain, good for though. the Chaos Knight. They're draining away his damage. CK will be the first one yeah, to drop. Now they're turning towards the Lush as well, but a force up to reposition. TA is going to be out of harm's way, but the rest of Polaris, I don't know if I can say the same thing as Yokam, jumps in. They found the Tiny, and they toss the holding back. They'll also... No, oh, they don't get TMV, but it looks like nonetheless, Xavius pulls tick out. Uh, they might be able to do Roche as well. They don't have a lot of... Well, they've got no... Goes a couple of heroes on different sides, right? You've got the Nullifier. Just They're going to go for Mizu bottom. Now. It's going to have at least a mischance once again coming through from the neutral line, but as soon as that expires, Mizu is going to consider a Fiend's Gate out, but that will not be... An upper jump. They're coming in instead. Oh, they're coming in. Yep. He doesn't want to go out because Lelouch is now in trouble. All of his damage completely zapped away is in your dream. Along with NGXC, they rock up to the party and in fine fashion. Oof. Really cool use of the Fiend's Gate there. Not often you see it for reinforcements to come in and help you. But uh, Mizu, great map presence, instantly bringing in all the boys. Xavius is going to be killed Xavius. off towards the end as well. The, the trap again, man! This goddamn trap! And up with the Rolling Thunder, Ian Dream's going to charge in the middle as well, but Natsumi stands his ground with the BKP. Can he get out, though? They're actually just going to look to target down Roshan, but the Aegis on the deck, Mizu snags it up. And, and now, Polar, you just got to get out. You've already lost your carry, Natsumi. It looks like you're going to lose Nevermind as well. The BKP, TP, but Alacrity flies on over to the cliffside. He's able to find... Wrap around. Okay. All right, there's a big pick off. They can get rid of the pink leap, but the decrep defensive once again will stop them in their tracks. He's got an opportunity to try and charge up the ultimate, but the leash is going to lock them together. Will not matter though, as they just brute force inside the base. In your dream, 194 damage stolen. And now they're on to Nevermind as well. The Bash is once much. again raining in for Alacrity. There will be no escape, although lacking some mana as the pain go. But it will not matter. They're on to the T4 Towers. Even just making his life like immediately after the, the Batrider buys back, back. Boost. Mo. Oh, that's cute. That is real crafty. But again, the decrep is Broom Billy going to do it all. And they stole the toss. Dude, Yokem oh. is in nutty. The support's in nutty. Thrones exposed. They'll get the Rubik. But you won't be in a position to make another play like that. Lelouch in the back line. They've got the... Okay, that's the answer. The nullify out from Lelouch. The bash is there. They're going to be cautious, though, because in your dream, he's going to refresh up once again, just zapping away the life pool of the Templar Assassin. And they consider even Fiends getting back to the base. Get those resources back, lads. They won't even need it in your dream. He's still in fighting shape. Forward they go, pillaging the base, killing off numbers one by one. I mean, TA just bought back. Top are under attack. Being Ooh. zoned out by a pango, just rolling away. Everyone's got last so. You gotta get rid of the back line as well. They're trying to do just that. Or maybe the Pangolier instead. Nullifies out, so the Decrypt's going to do nothing. They'll offer the life drain of the Telkinesis way in Alacrity. Oh, he gone. survives to it. Oh, that's it. We're going to game three. The lower bracket final. The decider of who will be the second team 
to face Execration into the Grand Finals, and it's only deserved we get a Game 3. You know what it was though, Lockie. Yes, I know. I'm going to bring it up when we're on screen. Don't worry. Ah, uh, love it. Love that I'm able to influence.